Escape from Iron Gate, Video Escape Manual. Welcome to Iron Gate Prison. Your objective? Escape. Navigate each wing of the prison by collecting items to pass through gates. This won't be easy. Only one of you will act, draw, and solve your way to freedom. Table of Contents. You can skip to the timestamp of any section or keep watching to see them all. What's in the box? To make sure you have everything you need, here's a list of the game contents. One game board, one escape manual, two reference cards, 44 rare item cards, 50 common item cards, 300 puzzle cards, 150 action cards, 50 lucky cards, 40 gate cards, one decoder card, eight player tokens, two symbol dice, four craps dice, a drawing pad, two pencils, and a 30 second timer. Setup. To set up your game, place each of the five decks in their corresponding spaces on the board. This is the commissary. Then, each player chooses a token to place in the prison cell of his or her choice. The placement isn't important, as long as you start in the cell block. Next, each player is dealt three common items. This is your hand. Each player is then dealt four gate cards, one for each area. You may view them at any time, but keep them close to your chest. You don't want to reveal your gates to other players. Make sure reference cards are available to all players while learning the game. The youngest player goes first, followed by the player to the left, then continuing clockwise. Playing the game. Each turn begins with rolling both symbol dice and drawing the cards they specify. If you roll doubles, draw a lucky card. Complete it, then draw either an action card for double A or a puzzle card for double P. If you roll an A and a P, you may choose either an action or a puzzle card. Do not draw a lucky card. Action and puzzle cards reward you with items when completed successfully. If you draw an action card, start the timer and begin acting or drawing. If you draw a puzzle card, you may begin solving at the end of your turn. You have until the beginning of your next turn to solve the puzzle. More on cards and rewards in the card section here. After drawing and or completing your cards, choose one and only one of the following. Trade with a player, trade with the commissary, pass a gate, or take no action and end your turn. Trading. Not having any luck obtaining the items you need? Try striking a deal with a fellow inmate. The terms of the trade are entirely up to you. If you play your cards right, you can purchase what you need from the commissary. See your reference cards for trade values. The only card that cannot be obtained from the commissary by direct trade is cake, room trades. Each area of the board features a specific rare item which can be traded to the commissary for any item while you're in that area. For example, instant noodles are pictured in the cafeteria. That means if you're in the cafeteria and you have instant noodles, you can trade it to the commissary for any item of your choice. Passing a gate. Each wing of the prison on your way to freedom is blocked by a gate. Each gate on the board has a corresponding gate card. You must pass each gate in order to escape. To pass a gate, you must trade each item listed on your gate card to the commissary. You may only pass one gate per turn, and you must pass them in order. Once you pass a gate, move your token into the new area. After completing your trade or passage, your turn is over. Cards. Item cards. Items are split into two categories, common and rare. They hold different values to the commissary, but you'll need both to escape. There is no limit to the number of items you can have in your hand. The cake item card is a wild card and can be played as any rare or common item. Lucky cards. These can be good, bad, or a little of both. If you roll a double A or double B, always draw a lucky card first. This could change the course of your turn. So don't plan too far ahead and stay on your toes. Action cards. Action cards will have one of two types, act or draw. So pay attention to its type before you begin. Each action card has three difficulty levels. Choose one before starting your action. Once you draw, flip the timer. You have 30 seconds to act or draw while all other players try to guess your word. If your word is guessed correctly, both you and the guesser earn rewards. Your reward is based on the difficulty of the action. If no one guesses correctly before time runs out, there will be no items awarded. Easy. Both you and the guesser draw a common item. Medium. You draw a rare item and the guesser draws a common item. Hard. You draw two rare items, keep the item of your choice, and give the other to the guesser. 
Puzzle Cards. Once you draw a puzzle card, you have until the beginning of your next turn to solve the puzzle. You may begin solving at the end of your turn. If you get stumped, you can ask for a clue at any point between your turns. The player to your right must reveal your clue using the decoder card. Before you roll at the beginning of your next turn, say your answer aloud. The player to your right will then use the decoder card to check your answer. If you solve the puzzle correctly without a clue, draw a rare item. If you solve the puzzle with a clue, draw a common item. If you did not solve the puzzle or your answer was incorrect, no items will be awarded. Puzzles range from identifying common phrases to more challenging riddles and ciphers. There's something for everybody, so don't get too discouraged if you have trouble with your first couple of puzzles. Decoder card. Use the decoder's window to reveal the hidden clues and answers on your puzzle cards. Gate cards. Gate cards are the only barriers between you and sweet, sweet freedom. You may view your gate cards at any time, but keep them to yourself. Pass a gate by trading the items listed to the commissary. Once you pass a gate, your turn is over. Other things to know. Prison rules. During the course of your escape, you'll undoubtedly encounter a situation in which the rules are a little uncertain. This is prison, after all. In this case, it is up to the group to establish prison rules. These are guidelines unique to your group that you must agree on to navigate the gray areas. Tips. 1. Trade often. 2. Puzzles may be tougher than actions, but they don't give resources to other players. 3. Keep the reference cards close while you learn the game. 4. Don't get too attached to any plan. Lucky cards have the ability to change everything. Well, that's it. Good luck in there and have fun. Post photos of your escape using hashtag escapefromirongate.